welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do another decoupage the gift bag onto canvas. But this time, this gift bag I've got, and I'll show you how you can actually get four out of one bag. So the gift bag I have is this, and the front and the back are the same picture, but this one, the sides also have the nice pictures. So, I'm just gonna grab my scissors. I'm just gonna take the ribbon handles off. I'm just gonna cut down the sides of the bag. as well. I'm just going to cut out the small, the small side to show you what it looks like. So it's, it's like this and it's got a lot of grey in the sky and in the snow so it looks like maybe more like an evening picture. So what I have done is I have prepped my canvases. I've already painted them with a grey so I'm going to, so it kind of matches the coordinating, and this I will just have to figure out where, which trees I would like in my picture, and I'll just trim it down to size, and I've got, so I can do this, I'm gonna, I can do the two smaller ones first, because the canvas for them are the same size, so I'll just go ahead and cut through this paper. And the pictures are the same, but I don't want them to be identical. I want my um, I want my pictures a little bit different, so they're coordinating but not identical. So I've got to find my other canvas. There it is. So I've got two canvases prepped. They're about the same size, or about as close as the same size you can get at the dollar store. And I've already prepped them. I'm with the gray, I've mixed a white and black. So now I just got to decide on how much of this do I want to show on one. I really like where I can line this up. So you've got the one tree down here, and then if I bend it so you get like that. Or if I wanted this whole tree and it's got this light strung up here, and the lights kind of look like the lights that are hung up in the trees behind the barn. So I'm going to decide how much of this picture do I want on these canvases and I don't want them to be identical. So I think for this, for one, I'd like to have like as much of the lights as I can get and probably not this tree. Then my other one I'll do with this tree and then not so much of the lights. So I'm just going to trim these down. I'm just going to see which one would be easier to trim down. And then also for this, I'm not so worried about getting it perfectly straight. Because I will be doing like I did with the last video, which is uh, I won't be putting any glitter on these ones, but I will still be doing the pouncing. Uh, I'll still be pouncing the paint to blend the picture in with the canvas. Okay, my kids are just getting home from school. Okay, so. So I'm just going to remeasure this here. Yeah, so I'll just cut this. This one I'll just cut straight off, right where these lights are, straight across. So I've got the tree. I've just got all these trees. Then for this one, I will cut it off right where this uh, where this one is. So I'm going to cut this little tree off. But I'm still going to save this little tree because I can still add this little Christmas tree to other paper crafts that I do. And I'm just going to trim this one up. Because this one has got the lights. And I want to keep the one with the lights. Uh, and there's my dog barking. Okay. So I'll have the two pictures so they'll be... They'll be coordinating pictures, but they won't be identical. 
comes on next. I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way. I just got to grab the Mod Podge and the paintbrush. I don't like using foam brushes. I know some people prefer foam brushes. I like just a good stiff brush for doing the, the Mod Podge. So, see, I didn't do this last time and then I had a little bit of trouble. Oh, it's kind of thick here. Oh, I can't take that off. If I try, it's going to wreck the, the picture. I had trouble with that last time I did it. I didn't take some of this extra uh, paper that they have that wrapped around the underside or the top side or the sides here. And it kind of made it a little bit thick and then, then didn't want to stick. I'm just going to try to get some of this off so it's kind of a little bit thinner. center this one. I just put the Mod Podge on the canvas and I always work with the grain of the canvas so I get nice even brush strokes so your brush strokes don't show because I don't, I don't think it looks very nice if you're doing this and you end up with a whole bunch of brush strokes going every direction. But you still want to have the glue all nicely spread out. And I'll do the same with this one. I'll just get the glue on here. It's for it's waited for wait for about a minute or two so the glue gets a little more tacky and then it's also uh, will stick better. So now these canvases I primed with the paint. Uh, I've got gesso. I haven't tried using the gesso yet with decoupage. That's something I'd like. I'm going to try my one of my next ones that I do. But if you don't um, prep the canvas is what I find. If you don't prep the canvas, especially the cheaper canvases from the dollar store where the little um, wait, it's how it's stitched together or whatever, you get the little gaps in the canvas. The larger the gaps are, then the more the glue will actually seep through the underside and then you won't get the good adhesion. So I'm gonna put this picture on here. I spread it out. See, I like napkins. Napkins are so much easier to work with. I know a lot of people they don't like doing decoupage with napkins. They say they find it hard. I like it. I find it easier. Uh, I've never done the decoupage. This would be my second time of doing this decoupage with the gift bags. Uh, I would like to try this decoupage of the gift bags on like a wood. I did buy a wood canvas, so I'm going to do that one at a later date, but I have done the wood panel stuff with a kind of a decoupage with scrapbook paper, but I've never done it with anything heavier. I think my one I made last time worked really good. Well, I was really pleased with the way that it did turn out, even though I had a little problem with the glitter. It kind of tipped on me and I got a little bit of too much glitter in a few spots, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I said, glitter, you know, it's fun to work with and I'm not doing any glitter on these ones because I want to keep these ones like, you know, more neutral because it's just... There's no, glitter, there's no glitter in these pictures. There's a little one in the one picture. It says Merry Christmas in glitter, but I'll probably be cutting that off to fit the, to fit in the, uh, to fit on the canvas. Oops. Let's see, I hope I gotta trim. Oops. I gotta trim this one down just a little bit more. It's gonna go off the canvas. A little bit there and a little bit up here. Just so I've got some I just see the canvas. There. Okay, good. Just gonna press it down. Oops. Wait a little too long on this one, and the Mod Podge is already drying on the underside, so I'm gonna put some more down. Okay, there. Now that looks good.
Yeah, the kids are all coming home from school. Lots of kids walking past my back gate. Oh, the dog's out there. She's barking at the kids as they walk by. Okay, I'm just going to hook this up. Got to get some more Mod Podge underneath. It's lifting up here. Again, I'm not so worried about a few little wrinkles in the paper. I've got a couple in here. It's just where the bag had been bent. And it kind of just wrinkles. And also when paper gets wet, it kind of bends a little too. And there's not really a lot you can do to prevent that. So I'm just going to stick this down. And I think that's done for now. I see the corners are lifting up a little bit on me here, but I'm just going to let the, the majority of it dry and then I'll come back with a second coat. And then this one here, oh, it's just dropped it off the table. Then I've got this picture here, which is the large one. Let's see, I'm going to take this handle off. So you can take the sides out and the whole bag kind of just goes in one big sheet. So lift the Mod Podge for a second. Grab the scissors. Okay, this picture. Now for this one, because the, the canvas that I'm working on is a lot smaller. So I've got two sizes that I've done. So this one here is a, a bigger one. It's got the Merry Christmas on it. And I've got the larger panel. I didn't get this one prepped yet. I just uh, I didn't know I had any of these canvases left and then I went to put something away and I found a couple more canvases. So I'll be prepping this to get this one but this because of the size of the gift bag I will be getting majority of the picture onto this canvas. So I'll set that one aside and then it's this one here, this picture here because the canvas that I have is also a little bit smaller so what I wanted to do was just for this I just really want to have the sleigh and the barn I don't need the Merry Christmas so I'm not going to do the Merry Christmas in that other one too it's I've got so much stuff that says Merry Christmas I don't need everything I make to say Merry Christmas just have to figure out when I put this down kind of center this and figure out kind of where the sleigh would be and how much of this trees can okay, want the barn. So I'm gonna move it over that, center it more. Okay, but the barn is what I really want. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab uh, pen here. I'm still in the process of moving everything around. But I guess I'll just use one of these little metal sculpting tools and I'll just kind of score around my frame just so I get an idea of where I need it to be so I got an approximate idea of where I'm going to cut it out just stopped on me okay so I said don't have a garbage yet so I'm just kind of throwing the garbage on the floor for now uh, but yeah I'm right in the middle of moving all the stuff up from the basement up to here so I've got a nice big craft room so there's the picture and so I've got it now I can just kind of I would like to see some of the gray frame around so I'm just gonna trim up a little bit up the sides so like there's this little chunk of this tree. I'm just going to cut that tree completely off. And then I'm going to cut some of this tree on this side off. And I think that would be good because I... So what I really want in the picture is the... really like is the barn and the sleigh. And I've got to cut... I need to trim just a little... I've got to just... 
just have to even this out just a little. Just gotta even this out just a little. And yeah, that's like just a little crooked right there. There. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna mod podge this. I'm just gonna mod podge this picture on, and then I'll have my set of and I'll do the same to this one. I will cut this one out and I will prep I'll prep the board and I'll cut this one up and I'll mod podge it on. And when I've got the whole complete set of four pictures done, I will come back. Okay, now I've got all four of my pictures. See, there's the largest one. They're all completely done. And I've got two trees. Put it on that one. So I've got all four out of one gift bag. What I'm going to do next is just so that the picture kind of like the frame kind of looks like the picture is coming out to the frame I'm just gonna take my little dabbing pouncing sponge and with a mix of the black white and light blue I'm just gonna dab all around the edge and when I get that done I will be back my I'm running out of space to record my video so I'm trying to get this done before it turns off again I did buy myself a camera. It's a really nice camera. I was going to use it, but the camera's heavier than the tripod I bought, so it kept tipping over, and I didn't want to break a $700 camera trying to make my first video. So I'm trying to just do this last quick video, this video as quickly as possible with my with my phone, and i got to get a new tripod. Okay, so I'm just going to go, I'm going to do the, the dabbing of this paint around I'm just gonna get it all set up and I'll come back and I'll show how to do it and what it will look like. Because that way, you know, it kind of blends out the picture so you don't quite get like how the picture is really shiny. And then this edge is kind of dull, how you get the color to kind of spread out around. And I even like to do this border edge here of the frame as well. So it looks more like a more high end uh, canvas that you buy, like the one behind me. It's the picture actually goes all the way around all the sides. Oh, that's what I'm trying to, kind of trying. I uh, can't even talk. That was kind of the look I'm, I like is to where it's not just the picture is glued onto the canvas, but that the picture is not just on the canvas, but maybe the picture was painted on the canvas and it was, goes around the whole edge of the whole canvas. So when I get that done, I will be back and I'll show you the final product. Okay, I finished all my pictures. So you can see there's the one panel, the side panel with the tree, and then this is the larger front panel of the gift bag, and that was the back panel of the gift bag, and the other side panel with the trees. So I'll put the two trees beside each other, you can see how it's the same picture, but when you cut the pic when you cut the picture down, depending if I cut from the top or the bottom, it makes it look like it's two completely different pictures. And then even with the panels of the front and back of the gift bag, like that was the back of the gift bag, and this here was the front of the gift bag. So when I so when they're side by side, you can see just by depending on how you cut the picture down, depends on what you see in the pic on the background and how much you get. So I'm going to hang all four up as one nice big Christmas grouping of pictures. Now, I was also thinking I might do a lace or rope border. I had a couple different uh, ropes I really liked. Just haven't decided which one. I might not do that. I haven't quite decided yet. So when I, if I do decide to do that, I'll... Sh I'll Post a quick update if I decide to put any ribbon or lace trimming around the pictures but as of right now I really like the way that they are and I will just be hanging those up and I'll put, put them on the wall next to my fireplace in the formal living room so okay thank you this has been um, 
an interesting video. I've, so this is my second video now where I've done the gift bags decoupaging on the canvas. I prefer decoupaging with napkins. So I'm going to go back to doing the napkins. It was just really fun doing these two doing these ones or trying this style and saying it's fun to do but yeah it's a little harder it's thicker paper so I'm gonna go back to what I'm used to well thank you see you in my next video